Hi everyone, welcome you all. We are discussing base system, which is part of number system. It's one topic where a lot of people have been facing problems. Many of you had texted me saying that this is one topic that we should cover. So let's understand base system. If we talk about base in case of number system, we generally operate in something called a decimal number system, right? Which is also having a base of 10. So what is having a base 10 mean here? So the number of digits that is there is 10. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, going on till 9. We have 10 digits here, right? So that's a decimal base or a 10 base system. Similarly, you also have studied about binary number system or binary base number system in case of computers, right? Where only 0 or 1 is used, right? So that is binary. There are two digits involved and hence the base is 2. And similarly, there can be other number system also. For example, let's say a base of 5 will have digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the first part. Now let's talk about conversion from one base to another. Let's say 34 in base 5. So how do I convert it into a decimal number system? The way it happens in decimal, for example, let's say if I have a number let's say 34 in, in decimal number system, then how do I represent this? I can represent this as 3 into 10 plus 4 into 1, right? Similarly, here the base is 5. So how can I represent it? I can represent it as 3 into 5 to the power 1 plus 4 into 5 to the power 0. So this becomes 15 plus 4, 19. Now, this is about converting from any base to the decimal number system. How can I convert a number from decimal to any particular base? Let's try and understand that also. For example, let's say I have a number 19. I have to convert it to base 5. Right now it's in decimal. I have to convert it to base 5. I divide it by the number 5 and I will take quotient and remainder. So 5, 19, if I divide the quotient will be 3, remainder will be 4. Right? Can I do any further division? The answer is no. So I can write 19 as 3, 4. If I have to convert 27, which is in decimal number system to let's say base 6, see, 27 divided by 6, what's the quotient here? The quotient here will be 4 times and the remainder will be 3, right? So I can write this number as 4 and 3. Moving forward, we'll, let's talk about arithmetic operations. So like we seamlessly perform arithmetic operations in the decimal number system, talk about two numbers 24 in base 5 and 34 in base 5. The logic of operations will remain the same. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 can be written as 5 into 1 plus 3. So last digit will become 3 and I'll have 1 as carry. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. How can I write 6 in base 5? I can write it as 5 into 1 plus 1. So I'll write 1 as the last digit and 1 again will be carried forward which will be written here. So What's the sum here? The sum is 113 in base 5. Again, if I have to do the subtraction, so 27 in base 9 minus 18 in base 9. I have 7 here. Okay. I can't subtract 8. So I'll take a carry. A carry here, unlike decimal system, does the carry means 10. Here the carry will mean 9. So what is 9 plus 7? 16. 16 minus 8 will give us 8. Now I have only 1 here. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Talking about division, let's say I divide 34 base 5 with 24 base 5, 24 and 34. So 1 times 24 remainder is 10, right? So what's the quotient here? What's the quotient here? The quotient is 1 and what's the remainder? Remainder is 10 in base 5. Two important divisibility concepts that we should remember. One is if I have a number with base B, it is divisible by B minus 1 if all the digits add up to be divisible by b minus 1. Let me take an example. So 44 with base 5. If you add the numbers here 4 plus 4, 8. So then this number must be divisible by this base minus 1 that is 4. Okay, one more important aspect here. A number in base b is divisible by b plus 1. If the difference of the sums of alternate digits is either 0 or divisible by b plus 1. So this is like divisibility of 11. This number ABCD is in decimal system 10 or let me take another example 1331 right. So in decimal system what is the divisibility rule of 11? 
we add the alternate digits and we take the difference right if the difference is either 0 or divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11 similarly in any other base system also in the next part we'll solve a few questions from the base system thank you so much god bless you